everyone. This is Yasuko and it's time for Mustache Monday. This week I'm going to do some reflexology. When you hear reflexology, you may think it's all about the bottom of the foot with a chart representing the entire body, and which is true. And I have done some self reflexology in the past, so I'm going to include the link. But you can also do a reflexology on the top of the foot. So this week I'm going to focus on the top half of the foot. Which represents the upper body. So let's start with the big toe. The inner corner of the big toe represents temple on the size of your forehead. And the outer edge of the big toe represents sinus by the nose. So you can squeeze this area between your thumb and the side of the index finger, or you can cup it from underneath and just massage both sides of the big toe. And on the big toe, you can separate this area into three sections. And the first area that's closest to the big toenail is the upper jaw and the teeth. So you can massage the, your upper jaw and the teeth. And the middle section is the lower jaw and the teeth. And the bottom section is the neck and throat. And some charts don't do this, but some other charts show the other toes represent the head and face, sinus, and neck. So you can massage your head and face, and sinus, and neck, one by one. Or I like to just massage all of them at the same time. Head, face, sinus, and neck. Head, face, sinus, and neck. Head, face, sinus, and neck. And head, face, sinus, and neck. The bottom of the toes are the top of the shoulders. And you can massage your top of the shoulder by walking your thumb. And I'm holding the bottom of the foot to stabilize and I'm moving the thumb by just using the first joint. It looks like warm. So this is walking your thumb. The area below the pinky, this is shoulder and arm. So massage your shoulder and arm by squeezing between the side of the index finger and thumb. This area represents the chest and breast and the upper back between the shoulder blades. So you can massage your upper back and chest and breast area by massaging with straight fingers. And when you do this, rock your torso so you're not just using your fingers. Or to be more specific, you can use your thumbs and follow your thumbs and trench the valley between the extension of the toe bone called metatarsals. And the area below the big toe represents thymus gland. The thymus gland is very important for the immune system massage this area to strengthen your immune system. I hope this is helpful. I'll cover the other half of the foot some other time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you back next week. Make it a great week and please don't forget to subscribe.